in a second, but first, Atlanta Entertainment Basketball League High School Class of 2020 shooting guard Jimmy Gatwich picking Quinn Cook's pockets before hitting the 360 under the legs dunk. It, this kid, we, we saw him go under both legs a couple weeks ago in game. This, see, you pointed out, the ease with which he does this is, I, it's unbelievable. I, I, I'm going to lose for words with Jimma. Yeah, We're going to see him like Zion over the next couple years in these highlights. Repeatedly. I wonder what they're going to do next. All right, Cowboys practice. I mean, if you have never seen this before, check out Jason Witten reaching back to complete the one-handed grab. Oh, come on, man. This is rude to Witten. Calling this. Of, of all the things that happened in NFL training camps yesterday, this is the most remarkable thing, or it's just remarkable. Man, he's out of bounds, man. Old man. Wait, no, no, because well, he's out of bounds. Watch the catcher. His Absolutely. right hand hits it, then his left, once he grabs it, watch his right foot. That's out of bounds. Out of bounds. Correct. I think, Unlike, he, should, oh, I think he should go back and do some You know what that reminded me? Speaking of out of bounds, you owe me some money. You guys take inbounds, out of bounds so seriously. Or bet on Fitzy. Finally, University of Wisconsin wide out. Aaron Cruikshank with an OBJ-like one-handed catch of his own. Okay, Do you Aaron. like this one better? Oh, this is nice oh, right Oh, that's here. a great catch. Oh, no, he secures this one, takes it to the ground. You know what he catches it with, see? Oh, no, he doesn't. I thought he caught the tip of the ball. He caught it on the side, one-handed, the way he gripped it. Watch. That's impressive. So, I like the way he's... Let's go, Wisconsin. Not at the back of his shirt. I think the buck guy is going... fitting is going to do something to the Badgers this year. On Thursday night, Cam Newton and the Every Panthers year. will be in Chicago to face the Bears. Logic would dictate that Cam, fresh off shoulder surgery, would sit this one out, ease into the preseason. Logic would be wrong. Panthers head coach Ron Rivera said that Cam plans to play. All right, see, what are you looking for from Cam on Thursday against that great Bears defense? I think that Ron Rivera is trying to send a message um, they've made some some changes around that organization, and they want to get back to a more consistent physical style. It is, it is the best interest of the quarterback to be able to play as long as he can, especially after Cam with the offseason that he did have. So I think it's a good message to send to the team. Cam wants to be out there, and I want to see Cam's new fundamentals under duress. So I want to see the accuracy. I want to see when people get in his face, if he can't step into the throw, can he be as accurate as he is when he's stepping into the throw? With Cam, it's all about his fundamentals. I do believe he'll play in a style where he'll protect his health until he's got to, until the regular season. But I'm looking for Cam Newton to continue to build on the 68 percent, which was the highest percentage that he had completed in his career last season, even before he got dinged. Nick. And I know, listen, we'll probably see Cam for one series in this game, but throughout the preseason, I'm also looking when we see Cam, not only with his fundamentals, but on his rapport with DJ Moore. Since this Panthers team been trying to replace Steve Smith for a long time, they drafted Kelvin Benjamin, number one, they went 15-1 and one without him and then shipped him off. They, they, they drafted Curtis Samuel high, and he's young, but his first couple years have not been the production they had hoped. Injured. They were injured and, and kind of struggled transitioning to full-time wide receiver after playing a slightly different role at Ohio State, if I remember correctly. And so the, DJ Moore being a legitimate number one to go along with Christian McCaffrey, who will probably lead the team in targets, we, at this point, I don't think you can... It, you can book a lot of production from Greg Olson just because he's had such a struggle with injuries. And then the question is, for Cam, can he do what you're talking about, see, which is repeatedly, even when, late in games when he's fatigued or when he's under pressure, stick with what I thought he was sticking with last year, which was the adjusted throwing motion and the adjusted offense of, I don't have to take deep shots down the field. He went from being, they went from being a deep shot offense almost exclusively to under Nor Norvin Scott, to Turner, they're throwing to the running backs more, they're throwing short in the flats more, which are going to raise your completion percentage, which are going to help you get more of a consistent movement of the chains as opposed to one big shot down the field being your drive. How long before all of that is second nature to a player when you learn something new, whether it's mechanics or a different way of thinking or situational football to go out there and actually implement it? I think that everything that I've seen with Tom Brady over the last several years, Drew Brees, read an article about him. It's never going to be second nature. 
And those guys are more natural throwers of the football than the physical specimen that Cam is. So if Drew Brees has said, I'm working on every throw to make sure that it's perfect, if Tom Brady said, I'm still working with a throwing coach at 42, we shouldn't think that Cam Newton is going to have his handle around this when he's been a dual threat quarterback ever since his, his, his formidable, um, even before his high school years, because he's always been a physical specimen. So he'll be working on this until the last year in the league, throwing the football. It's one of the fundamentals. We call it, I'm working to master it, knowing I will never be able to master it, and Cam has to get more Drew Brees, more Phillip Rivers, more Ben Roethlisberger, more Tom Brady-ish as he transitions into his 30s. And he also has to it, not remove, and I'm not concerned that he will, the running component of his game. Where this offense is the best is where Cam, on third and six, does see the hole run and then do a little first down motion. When he is uh, getting the crowd fired up, they, they are... We, we can't forget this part about Cam. His energy is infectious. Now, early in his career at times, it was infectious in a negative way. Towel over his head, sulking on the sideline, people criticize him for it. But when he's going good, and that includes plays with his legs, that team feeds on it. And so I don't, he's never going to be Tom Brady, Drew Brees, the total package in that regard. But he can add an element to the game those guys absolutely cannot, an element to the game that makes him the most effective running quarterback we've ever seen seen in this league that's got to be a part of it to go along with the new em increased emphasis on his fundamentals I think it's very important too that Ron Rivera that his message is consistent if they're gonna do what they want to do from a goal standpoint they're gonna have to probably go through Chicago Ron Rivera cut his teeth played his football there in Chicago we're facing one of the best defenses in the league Cam's coming off an injury well let's sit Cam well no Let's get back to the way Carolina plays football, and we might see these Bears again. Send Cam out there in that Thursday night game against the Bears. I think it's a great message for your locker room. You mentioned more, but what about the rest of the team around Cam Newton? Do you Listen, feel comfortable with what Ron Rivera's putting out there? Oh, I really like the defense. I think this could be, you were talking about the Patriots being a top five defense. I think this Panthers team should be mm -hmm. a top five defense. That front seven is as good as any in the league. I think the Gerald McCoy addition is one of the best additions any team made this offseason. He's kind of been lost in the wilderness in Tampa Bay. This is an all-pro level D tackle that will make an instant impact. You, Everyone loves their linebacking core as long as Keekley's out there. And so I really, I like their front seven a lot. And that's when Carolina's been at their best, when the defense has been getting after the quarterback, forcing turnovers. Gerald McCoy next to Dontari Poe, yep. next to Bruce Irvin is going to play the right defensive end. Watch out for a kid from Florida State, Brian, Brian Banks. Banks. All right, he's more than just a rusher. He's going to be a three-down defensive end. His potential, he potentially can have a 15-sack season in his NFL career. Phenomenal athlete on the outside. Brian Burns, all his, the if you care about those spider charts, stuff yep. off the charts. Unbelievable. I love the spider charts. we got to take a break. Coming up, we got special guest, NFL executive, oh. VP, former All-Pro quarterback, Troy what, Vincent what, joins what's us. What's a spider? What's a spider graphic? How you doing? How can How you, you not know what's a spider? I need one of those NFL 100. Stop it, stop it. Let me. I should have started here. Philly. May I? Oh.